the when I'm an evil overlord. I will have my legions of doom wear helmets with clear visors on them instead of face concealing ones. I will make sure none of my ventilation shafts are big enough for anyone larger than a rat to crawl through. <laughs> All right. Yes, my repairs. I know. Panther got to go to storage. I don't have room for it yet. Need to see the list. Yeah. It's right up there with Skippy's list. <laughs> so if you want to see the uh, the list, can't do it too, too often, but I think that's the one. <laughs> Yeah, all in all, actually, not too bad. <laughs> uh, should we do more bad choices and... Um... there was still this mission target acquisition just this part really concerns me the fact that the max salvage is 7 out of 30 it's like how much are <laughs> How many forces are going to be thrown into a half skull mission that there's going to be 30 pieces of salvage, possibly? <laughs> well, you know, deciding vote there for the uh, for the team name there. Um, All right, do we want to do this one or do we want to just bide our time for a couple months and do the main campaign mission? What do we think? We'd be doing this one under strength. Target acquisition is actually not a mission that I'm familiar with that I have done before. I've seen it as part of a um, uh, the demos for the uh, Flashpoint missions. Yeesh. Not for the faint of heart, definitely. Wait for repairs and healing. That's one for repairs and healing. Anyone else? Taking opinions now. Firing hall. Is there anyone worth picking up here?
No, well, this would at least uh, get our other sensor lock back into play. Although I don't really want to hire anyone if we're just going to be marking time for a couple months. Uh, let's see, what do we have? 43 days to get Yuri in, about another seven. So yeah, definitely two months. All right. The world is nearing the end. <laughs> yeah, if you're agreeing with Lance, that's, uh, that's definitely a sign of the end times. <laughs> it's a sign yes okay um well let's see it's 33 days to weldry anyway and then it'll be like two weeks once we get there we'll just hang out in orbit that's fine calculating course now all right well, off we go And actually, while we carry this on, actually, I might increase the morale while we're doing this. So I still have only a few. This is still a fairly cheap time to do it, so. We're off and running. Let's go ahead with the extra costs. Why not? Yeah, it's less than... Okay. Um, All right. Just give me two minutes. I'm going to... Uh, you know, run and grab a uh, refresh to my drink, and then we'll do this. Uh, we'll do this last mission. So just uh, hang tight for a couple minutes. We'll carry on with the timeline advancing, but uh, we'll probably get into orbit before I get back, and then we'll uh, uh, take a quick look. So, just uh, about two minutes, so I'll be right back with you. Let's get back to the game, shall we? Uh, sound level seem fine, but not using headphones. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Um... You decide to go ahead and let me know <laughs> but it's good to know that they are at least sounding okay okay so srm to ammo jump jets okay oh do i have an srm2 i do good ammo jump jet is fine and then there was an lrm5 over here i think Five ammo, jump jet small, heat sinks in the legs. Okay. Oh, 
jump jet small. Heat sink in the legs. Oh, yeah, the legs fine. Hey, okay, what's missing? We got an extra ton somewhere. Right arm medium laser. That's what we're missing. Okay. Is there any modifications we actually want to do with this? Because it's not like we have to keep it on this configuration, but... might shift some armor here. Twenty-one hundred bucks in fifteen days. Right, I'll get it in the schedule. All right, and that's actually going to be nope. Just managed Hess. Yuri first. <clears throat> oh, you know. Like, Centurion still needs a name. <laughs> Anyone have any ideas? Actually, I know what we should do. Kujuman is KSP freaking nature? What's Kujuman doing? What, is he, uh... Oh no, after spending years watching EJ, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, Centurion needs a name. <laughs> Protagonist. <laughs> Retribution. Uh, well, that'd be one way to get uh, Decker back in. <laughs> hmm. How's that? <laughs> Decker's Revenge. I'm trying to remember what he was driving when he died. <laughs> It'd be really funny if he was driving the, um, oh, yeah, Epic, you were supposed to remind me about something. Um, just hold on two seconds here. the difficult way Should be enough. Okay, Epic, give it a try now without the permit. Mm. 
Hey, there we go. Good. Sorry, I had to add you to the regulars. <laughs> it's just been... It, it is a little ridiculous. <laughs> a reusable lifter. Oh, okay. So he's he's kind of running the EJ type stuff, eh? Was this the one you were talking about, uh, like, reloading payloads or something? Got a new financial report for you, Commander. Hmm. Okay. Back to zero. <laughs> okay, we got 14 days. Yuri will be back in, and then we can carry on with our our mission here. And there's Yuri. Okay. Then he did this. What did he do? Oh, um. Upper stage landing. All right. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, boost back to the pad. Yeah. You know, a, a couple of the other guys, I think uh, DOS, EJ, and a couple others uh, have been doing that uh, as well. Um, so it's good to see it spreading. <laughs> I'm not going to divert to go uh, do there, but anyone who's interested in KSP or really cool stuff, uh, absolutely follow the YouTube links there that uh, showed up in chat. Um, and uh, look up. What was, what was this fellow's name? Gujaman Space Inc. Um, <laughs> it is it is totally cool. It's a, it's a tricky thing to do with KSP too because you have to get up to a certain altitude. Uh, you you know when you're multi staging. You have to do various burns at various times, but what you have to do is, so he would have to, you, you can only control one ship at a time, so he'd have to switch to the stage that's going into orbit and do the burn for that. And while it's sort of either burning or at least somewhere lofty in the atmosphere, he has to switch back to the booster, turn it around and boost it back towards the pad probably go back to the orbital insertion and finish that burn and then go back to the booster before it gets deep enough in the atmosphere uh, that that he wouldn't be able to or like if it gets too low it gets just gets deleted um, so he'd have to go back before that deletion point and finish the landing and then you know carry on with any orbital stuff afterwards so uh, it is definitely very, very tricky. Good luck doing it with more than two stages. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, we have, I think, all our mech warriors good to go. Yeah. Waiting for orders. I hear you. Not really as experienced as I would like, but is what it is.
We have DDLC plus one, so... Mock up a fucking super heavy with starship and cargo mode. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Moment of truth. <laughs> Lance. Um, there is a reason I have this name, and it's from <laughs> ba Battletech. So. All right, Madeira. Bulger, one of the most the most notorious hell hoes in the Regan Reach. Everything about this place is hostile to human life. For the past three years, Espinosa has been using it as a dumping ground for his political enemies. Uh, the director has a prison complex on the planet's surface. The inmates called it the Ice Box. And there's our imagery. Solid heavy walls that you've come to associate with Torian architecture. It's a holding facility for political prisoners, including high value hostages, members of founding families, spouses, sons, and daughters. If we liberate the prison and set them free, we break Espinosa's leverage over the founding houses. The political map will change overnight. We don't know what the Directorate has been doing to our people there, but we have set them free, not just for political gain, but because they're our people. We need to help to do it. Okay. Aren't the Founding Lords and Ladies supposed to be powerless figureheads? <laughs> they're different kinds of power. Founding houses may be anemic in terms of martial strength, but their words still carry weight around their rig and reach. If they rally behind us, the people who love them uh, the people who love them will follow. Governments have been toppled with us. Yes, it usually requires firepower though. <laughs> okay, what's uh, the problem with Weldry? Sub-zero climate to an edible vegetation. The whole planet is infested with blood-sucking insects. Swarms can stretch for miles. This doesn't sound like a problem for mechs. Hey, Crafty Dog, how are you doing? Good to see you. Uh, we're inciting a rebellion. Yes, we're absolutely inciting. Well, um, we're inciting a re-rebellion to rebel against the rebellion. <laughs> The uh, the rebellion that we're instigating is against the uncle that did a coup against the lady here. So, um, colonial biting fly the size of your thumb. Rebelception. <laughs> Yes, Rebelception. You're dropping infantry there on purpose? Yes. They're fine. A little bit of little bit of DDT, you're fine. Uh Ultrasonic keeps the swarms at bay, okay. So with an army we need to do what? Subtle decisive action. I will lead the army in all its assault on the Directorate's primary spaceport. After I've drawn their attention, you'll sneak in, attack the icebox, and liberate it. I'll set my uncle's hostages free and put the founding father families in our debt. All in one fell swoop. Are you spying on me? Said it's good to see you. Meaning you have a camera in my room. I can't see you, you. I just see your name in chat. Therefore, you know, that's what I'm seeing. <laughs> just whatever you do, don't look under the second shelf in the left corner. Um, reminds me of the lightning raid I went on for your father's military. That was a good plan, too, right up until we made contact with the element military. 
It was a pun I could not pass. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I do understand what you're saying, and the chaos of the battlefield is one of the major reasons I need you to do this job. You and Mastiff improvised on Cormadir, and you got me through the coup alive. I'll be counting on you to use the same adaptability on Weldry, should the need arise. <clears throat> Remain in radio contact with you after we hit the ground. Good hunting. Give my uncle's troops hell that they've earned after their director presence on the planet has been crushed and the icebox has been liberated. We'll regroup to celebrate our victory. Victory! Okay. <clears throat> so, Natsuki, unfortunately, we're not taking you with... Uh, glitch gets the shadow hawk. Um, Blackjack's going to be the long range sniper. Medusa, you can take that. And I guess I will end up with Decker's Revenge. I always like Behemoth to have Monica because it's all about Monica. <clears throat> Tundra, so heating shouldn't be horrible. All right, I think we're good to go. Little bit on the light side, but whatever. This is another one of those uh, kind of base cracker type things. <clears throat> Hard to believe we're going to war against the director. Don't know about you, but from my perspective, it's long overdue. Make him pay for what they took from us. Make it hurt. Yes. Command interface initiated. Two entrances to the complex. Intel says each is defended by a series of elevated turrets. Also seeing an LRM emplacement between the two checkpoints. Battletech defenses should be practically nil as predicted. Lady Arano's preemptive strike has already drawn the prison's standard garrison away. Seeing heavy vehicles and turrets on my screen, nothing you can't handle. Good. Clear away the opposition, capture the prison. Lady Rano and the Restoration Army will take care of the rest. Good hunting. <clears throat> okay. So... You have the prison gates over here and over here. Turrets, turrets, generators. More generators. And we'll end up with vehicles. A lot of them tend to come out this way, I think. So, hmm.
Position confirmed. Get the Humeth over there and Glitrip Cider, what? Medusa. See what we pull up. How many political prisoners on there? Lots. Lots and lots and lots. Because of course you it's not just the prisoners, you also need the guards, right? So I don't actually I'm not sure I know where the other emplacements are. Waiting for orders. Now let's get eyes on. Where's enemy contact? You don't like the mission because it looks cold. <laughs> Good to go. Hmm. Don't really want to use. Let's Order. use Behemoth. 